you know, not to sound like a boomer, but honestly, I, I, I think TikTok is uh, the problem with society these days, and uh, it's really fucking up the youth of today and the adults of the future tomorrow. I am genuinely fearful of what our society is going to produce. Like, look at how downhill we've come in the past 20 years, since I've been born, pretty much, uh, 2000. Let's start at 2000, the year of me. Um, there were a couple pretty stupid things, right? A couple pretty stupid trends, like there was the, uh, uh, the visor. You guys remember those visors, those stupid hats without the top on it? Like, who the, f like, dads, every single dad from, no, they're popular with golfers, other than golfists nowadays. Um, the visor is basically dead, and thank God for it. That was a trend that died. Same with the spiky, frosted tips hair that was huge in the 90s. That, that went away and needs to stay away. But I've been, I've been noticing, and it's really been getting on my nerves lately, and there's just so much going on in this world right now that's bad and wrong and not good and just bad, um... Like, politics-wise, like, looking at the, the, the view of politics, it, it, it's fucked. And I feel like if I'm gonna bitch at something that's fucking stupid and pointless, I'm going to bitch about something that's stupid and pointless that I'm sure everybody can fucking agree on. Well, obviously not everybody, because it's a scourge on humanity for a fucking reason. But, you know, no political hot takes. This is just some takes. I don't even think it's a hot take. It might be. I mean, like, I can't tell. I can't tell. I think the vast majority of this human world loves TikTok, and they would die by it, swear by it, anything for that possibility of 15 minutes of fame, right? So yeah, let's just hop right into it, um, and I'll start off by making the hottest of points first. Uh, mental health issues are a big issue. Thing. And we have made so many advancements in society in the last 22 years um, to try and better that and become more aware of mental health and the fact that, yes, it's a very real thing that people have and people suffer with. Uh, hell, me included, I, I have, um, just to name a couple of things, I, I have depression and anxiety. Um, and compared to what it was in the... Uh, like in the 1980s even, treatment has just gone so far up. Even in the 2000s, treatment has gotten so much better. But then there are things like that, that, that make me scratch my head and go, but has it really? And one of those things is TikTok. Mental health is a real thing, and TikTok and its popularity is apparent to it. I'm pretty sure if you're on TikTok, and I, can't, I, I can shit talk this, I'm on TikTok too. It's fucking stupid, and you're probably a little bit down in the mental department. Like, you probably should stop scrolling TikTok and go and read a fucking book or something. Or, uh, I don't know, go play a fucking video game, even. You don't even have to read a book. I don't want to sound like a boomer, so go play a video game. Go play a puzzle game. Go play a, a strategy game, a first-person shooter, something that tests your reflexes. Um... That, that'll get your brain moving more than scrolling mindlessly through fucking endless waves of fucking cringy, stupid, retarded, obnoxious, autistic garbage that is TikTok and YouTube Shorts. I'll go as far as to add YouTube Shorts in. Now, when I say TikToks, I'm also including Facebook Shorts, YouTube Shorts, whatever those Shorts are. It's all the same formula. All the same formula. I can tell you right now, I can go onto Instagram Shorts and scroll for five minutes and I will see the same basically the same video just recorded over and over and over again there's this guy I saw one of his videos for example this is a little uh, little anecdote I, I saw one of his videos on Instagram I think his name is like Lord Trunks or something he's a workout nut yeah Lord Trunks um, and let me let me just scroll let me go down a couple of days ago, because I swear to God, it was nothing but just back-to-back. Where are your fucking reels, you dick? Yeah, yeah, here it is, literally. Um, these are separate videos. We'll start here. It's three, just back-to-back. -back. Here, here's where it starts. We'll start at the top. And then he does a fake scream at the end. 
Anyways, let's scroll down. I'm stronger. I'm POV, you don't floss your teeth. I'm better. I am better. Fake scream. I'm POV, you don't have any allergies. Let's see. You don't take pre-workout. POV, your mom can't. Oh no, nope, different one. You don't eat breakfast. Like fuck. Hang on a second. These videos that he does here. These videos here. Let's see. 113k, 174k views, 163k views, 145. All this dude does is repost the same fucking thing, and people just eat it up because they forget. Like I, I was watching a Joe Rogan thing, and he was like, "Yeah, I've heard that some kids today, the uh, people who watch TikTok, their minds like it's a joke, but they uh, like I use this as a joke all the time, right? Me personally." But anyways, Joe Rogan was saying they have their memory spans and uh, attention spans reduced to that of a goldfish. And I say that all the fucking time about people. I say it all the time. Me and Joe Rogan are so hashtag rela relatable. We're basically fucking brothers. Hear that, Joe? Long lost brother here. Old enough to be my dad. You're my brother. <laughs> but back on the main point, it's almost like they forget that they've literally just seen this exact same clip like two days ago but then they're like oh i like it again anyways you fucking moron <laughs> like i am not the smartest human being on the fucking planet but at least i'm a lot fucking smarter than that i am stronger i am smarter i'm better i am better fuck you <laughs> fucking lord trunks hey good on you for making your you know what i i i respect it you know what in the end, I'm not. I seem like I'm hating. I know I seem like I'm hating, but I'm not. If anything, I have a great deal of respect for these boring, stupid, unoriginal content creators. And it's not their fault that they're boring and stupid and unoriginal. They don't need to be original. That's the thing. People have realized in 2022, you don't need to be original to get your 15 minutes of fame. You know, Andy Warhol once said that everybody in the future is going to be famous for 15 minutes. Look at nowadays, Andy Warhol, Andy Warhol living in his Warhol was absolutely fucking right. Everyone is now going to be famous for only 15 minutes and the rest of their time is going to be spent clawing and scratching at anybody else's content. They will scour the internet for anything that they can rip off as long as it could be seen as trendy. Trendy. Because just like TikTok, trends is a cancer. People get rabid for popularity. Rabid! And they will sell out their friends and their loved ones and their values and their beliefs for a little bit of fame. And it's it's stupid, and it's it's a plague on humanity. It's a plague on society, and it's gone to show that we as humans have we're suffering creatively. I would ping the the twenty twenties. Actually, you know what? The, from the year I would say twenty sixteen to now, and likely for the next great foreseeable future. Congratulations! We're living in what I like to refer to as a creative, an artistic Great Depression, where uh, originality is not a thing. Uh, everybody is just copying other people. Uh, like, I don't even know where that whole I am better, I am stronger thing ever even came from. Like, I, I heard it from that Lord Trunks fella, and in my head, it's like, oh, that's that must be his thing. Uh, no. It's, I guarantee you it's not, but that's little. How, that's how little I care about it. But if we really wanted to dig into the meat and potatoes of all the things wrong with TikTok uh, and how it keeps society stupid and the, the uh, consequences that it's going to have on us, that's a whole other topic in and of itself. Um, but that's, that's going to be a whole other video. But anyways, I've been going on about this for 10 fucking minutes. There's no point that I've made that I can't 
emphasize on anymore without getting political and like a little bit on the side of conspiracy but <laughs> we don't do conspiracies here unless there's fun and it's not even that it's a conspiracy that's just what i've been called for talking about it oh you must be a conspiracy theorist uh no i firmly am it, it's apparent it's clear tiktok makes people dumb tiktok makes people stupid so i'm going to close out this video by not telling you all on tiktok that you're stupid, you're losers, you're unoriginal, idiots. In fact, uh, that's that's counterproductive. It's my opinion that that's what it looks like people are nowadays. But that's not what I'm saying about you. In fact, I'm going to... Mm, let's, let's issue a test. I'm going to say a challenge. The creator's challenge. Uh, and society, in my opinion, due in part largely to things like TikTok, has become stupid, mentally flabby, and just unoriginal. So, uh, the challenge. I challenge everybody watching this video to go, if you if you are a TikTok creator, go, or even just a creator in general, go and sit down, do your creative process, and create something original. Create something funny. You are better than taking from other people's stupid, cringy, unoriginal dog shit. Make your own cringy, unoriginal dog shit. I'm kidding. It wouldn't be unoriginal if you just made it yourself. You can t like, there's, people need to understand there is nothing wrong with taking inspiration. I take inspiration from fucking everything. That's how my music gets made. That's how I, I write a story. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with taking inspiration from something. As long as it's original. I don't care. I have I am so sick of seeing the same fucking video a hundred thousand million times. I need some originality or else I am going to go fucking nuts. Right? Like I I don't know how society does this, how society keeps itself in this constant state of depressing garbage. But anyways, Take, do your creative process and create something original, whether that be a story, a short story, and a fucking novel. Uh, create a song, create a little jingle, uh, create a joke, make a joke, sit down and think of something funny, and see where that takes you. I guarantee it, if we started doing this on TikTok and on YouTube and everywhere else, we would see a lot better, funnier content. Now, I, I understand, like I said, I am, I said once a month, but I need to take in, into account something. I'm mainly talking to TikTokers here, and I understand living, mental illness, real thing, and it, it, it must be super hard living with something as horrible as autism. <laughs> but even, even you retarded TikTokers should be able to do this. I have faith in you. This may seem like me talking down, and yeah, sure, I'm using some insensitive words, but hey, it's the kick in the ass you need. So get out there and create something, you unoriginal fuckwads.